What up, players? Warboss Tail Fitness Mode Apocalypse August, or as I like to call it, Apoc August. Yeah? What do you think of that, honey buns? Oh, you got me. <laughs> I got her! Apoc August! The July painting challenge is almost over, and that means August is rolling around, and a YouTuber by the name of War Painter asked me to collaborate with him on this project, Apocalypse August. And um, Apocalypse actually came out in July while we were planning this, but the basic idea is that we both get a super heavy, and at the beginning of the month, we start with them still on the sprue, and then we uh, take the month and then we build it up and we paint it up according to a theme suggested by the community. And then by the end of the month, we show it off, and then everybody just kind of votes on on uh, who did the best job in completing the theme and getting it all done, whatever. Oh my gosh, look at this artwork, it looks so good. Choppy choppy. <clears throat> and so I'm going to link his video uh, down below in the description and you can check it out. Vostroyans. So uh, let's get in there close because if you haven't seen, if you don't have this book by now, uh, there's this artwork at the very beginning of the book with the Vostroyan commander there. Oh, so good. Looks so good. Um, hey, it's the Vox guy. No mustache, dude. So, so basically, you're, uh, don't leave any comments about what theme you'd like to see on this video. This is just a kind of video to make you guys aware of what the project is going to be. And I'm going to, like I said, put a link in the video description to go to his channel and um, leave comments in the suggestions. And he also does a video, like in the video, it talks about all the rules and the guidelines we're going to be following. Uh, throughout the month. So please do. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't... I've, I've never played an Apocalypse game, but I've seen them. If you watched my video of the last game's day at, uh, in Honolulu here, then you would have seen that I was walking around that Apocalypse table. Remember that, anyone? With all the huge giant monsters and giant... Like it was yesterday. Like it was yesterday, she says. <laughs> So we're going to try building, a, I didn't see any super heavy tanks though, so there were like titans and giant towel machines and uh, an Eldar titan and it was just craziness. So we're going to uh, be building up super heavies, he's got a Stampa, I've got a Bane Blade and um, we, want to, we want to hear from you guys what, the, what you think the theme should be. And uh, so check out the video, listen to the rules and um, leave your comments there. Uh, we're only going to be doing weekly progress updates. We're not going to be doing daily videos like the July Painting Challenge because I think everybody's a little bit burned out from it. But uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I've never painted I've never painted a tank, a full-on tank before. I think the closest thing I've ever painted was a Chimera a long time ago in Katachin colors. So some of you might remember that video. It had the tank commander popping out the top and he, he was all bloody because he had his ear shot off. A lot of fun, but... Um, a super heavy is going to be a completely different monster. One last thing I want to ask you guys is which variation would you like to see me paint up? And um, just for clarification, I am going to be painting it up in the colors of Vastroya to match the Vastroyan um, firstborn because I'm planning on selling it with the Vastroyan infantry and all the Vastroyan heavy weapons and stuff. So I'm kind of going to try and sweeten the pot when I finally sell off the army. So I think because of Vas the Vastroyan, their fluff is a very uh, infantry heavy army. They don't have too much uh, tanks. Uh, something like maybe the Stormlord down here at the bottom which has a carrying capacity of 40 models would be cool, or one of these other transport models. But there, it also says that uh, Vastroya has very close ties with the Adeptus Mechanicus, which means that they would have a couple of really awesome super heavy tanks. Um, so this might be one of those, like a, a Shadow Sword here with a Titan killing a Volcano Cannon or whatever it is. I don't know any of this stuff. But I will be painting it in uh, Vastroyan colors, which is that ash gray light green color. I also had some requests to share why this uh, 
Sentinel is painted in this color, and the reason is, I think, because instead of being all red, I think the reason is because Vastroya is an ash, or, or like a like a like a hive world, like a factory world. So um, the the models were tr were, I guess, the color scheme was based off of that like 1930s, 1940s, very drab kind of pale color scheme uh, for urban warfare. Uh, these tanks would be in uh, would be in the cities a lot, hiding among the buildings and stuff. So I guess the the bright red color scheme. I guess they didn't want it to to match the the infantry with the bright red base coats or great coats. I don't know why though. Um, specifically, that's just my guess. So it will be painted in the same kind of color scheme, but it's going to be done up with all of the ornamentation. And if you see, for those of you who don't know, the there are a couple tanks in here in the Imperial Guard section that are painted as Vostroyan firstborn tanks. This is an Armageddon tank, you can tell by the red and white kind of like lightning bolts. But this is a Vostroyan tank here. And I think even the Bane Blade itself. Here's another one. The the red and the white stripes on the side are very clean. And yeah, Vostroyan. So with the you can tell it's got the gold, gold and silver on all their weapons. Anyways, let me know what you guys think, and join us for Project Apocalypse.